Well, good Friday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, program note for tonight. Um, something we have been doing for over eight years. We have been doing live streams on Monday nights and Friday nights um, before it was cool on YouTube. I'm, I'm being serious. Um, it's literally been that long, and I've missed very few um, shows. But tonight, um, my high school, God, I can't believe this, 40 years. I, t tell, me I don't, tell me I don't look 40 years old, but this is the 40-year class reunion um, get-together. Tonight, um, homecoming for my high school team. The parade was supposed to be going on right now, but that has been uh, canceled because of the uh, – storms that have come through uh from the remnants of the hurricane i'm not complaining because what we have is mild in comparison to what a lot of people are dealing with and sending prayers and hoping that people will get back on their feet sooner than later um be that as it may uh the game at the moment is still on um and it might be canceled depending on how much more rain comes through. But we're having a get-together in the local inn that's been there literally forever. So this will be um, – I, I actually have not gone to any of my class reunions uh, in the past. So this will be the first time I've seen a lot of these people in 40 years. So that will be interesting to say the least, uh, to definitely tell some of them, Hey, you know, it's crazy Mark here. You know, I got a voodoo doll, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And they'll probably say, yeah, some things never change. Anyway, we have some news on the Cowboys. Um, Micah Parsons has the dreaded high ankle sprain. Um, and it looks like he could miss somewhere between two and four weeks, which is not good. I mean, at least we have 10 days, so that's like almost a week and a half, um, which is the Steelers game. And then we have um, the Detroit Lions game. So we're looking at missing at least those two. And then possibly the Falcons game. And then the um, uh, God 49er game, possibly. Um, which is a rough stretch. This is the roughest stretch of the season. If we could get through that and add the Eagles onto it. <sighs> Sorry. Up late last night editing videos and everything else. And um, unlike, I'm sure, Cop Pizzle, um, I slept well once I finally went to bed. Um, but uh, it was late and got up early. Um, also, Demarcus Lawrence has um, a foot issue. We don't know if it's plantar fasciitis or what it was, but he could miss a couple of games as well. So we're going to definitely need some of these younger guys to step up. Um, one thing that was actually a difference maker for us last night uh, was the fact that our defensive line played better than they have all season. Okay, now um, the talking heads will poo-poo it and tell us that, you know, it was against nobody and yada, yada, yada. I, I, I hear what you're saying. But we've been so bad that you were wondering if my high school team could have run for yards against them. But to have 26 runs against them and only give up 26 yards, I don't care who you play in the NFL, that's really good. So um, shout out to Mozzie Smith, who was living in the backfield um, yesterday and had the best game of his career. I'll have more on him a little bit later. But I do want to talk about this one. Okay, so... There has been a fire the GM movement, okay? Uh, Jay Tuck, your shirt's on the way. I've got like four more up here that I've got to package up and get the labels on, and they'll go out tomorrow um, for you guys that won last night. Um, if you go on Twitter, or excuse me, um, Elon Musk on X, um, You'll and use the hashtag fire Jerry. You'll see all kinds of stuff on there. And so we will be, um, of course, I mean, you know, we're, we've been posting with it as well. Um, Clarence Hill basically said, y'all are wasting your time and should put your energy elsewhere. Well, uh, you're probably right about nothing will change about it. But in my mind, I believe that, you know, we got at least let the king know that he's got no clothes on. And that he is doing a bad job. And I, I actually believe that negative press 
is exactly what what he needs because you know it's always about we the cowboys, we the boys, and trust the process. No, we don't trust the process. This is another one of those ones that make you say, maybe Jerry, maybe it's time to go elsewhere. You know, as far as being the GM, getting somebody else. This one I don't understand, and this one makes you wonder: is um, what are you thinking, Jerry? He, he was actually praising Daniel Jones. Are we are we going to be trying to get Daniel Jones on the roster? Is that what we're going to do? This is Jerry Jones on 105 The Fan. I was very impressed with the Giants. I thought their quarterback was better than I thought he was. They're a tough matchup, and I was impressed. I thought he did a heck of a job. I thought we did a heck of a job defending their run. I'm tickled to death. The way we go about things, you know, this this makes me worry that, you know, because I know the Giants, there were some talks and rumors that maybe the Giants should um, bench Daniel Jones. Um, their $40 million quarterback, and a lot of people believe that no matter what happens this year, Daniel Jones, because there basically isn't out after this season, is gone as their quarterback. Will Jerry Jones try and get Daniel Jones here with the Cowboys? I mean, you know, we went out and we got Trey Lance, and, of course, his contract's expiring, and so on. Um, I would say, personally, and, and I I, I you know, I, I'm just Joe the fan. I'm not a GM like Mike Tannenbaum that's had experience with this or Jerry Jones. But when I look at this and see how our Cowboys, that we have one weapon out there, and that's CD, and our quarterback and CD, if they're not perfect, we're not winning games, that maybe I might want to be looking at some players to help bring in. Um, to help us as far as this season goes. Um, if we had another weapon, uh, you know, I love Brandon Cooks, but Brandon Cooks doesn't seem to be, you know, that guy at the moment. And that's not to say it doesn't happen down the road. Maybe the Cowboys know something we don't. But um, I would be more <laughs> more inclined to be looking at that and talk, instead of talking and praising about Daniel Jones. But be that as it may, y'all keep doing your thing. But I do have something to show you guys. Now, I got two things to show you guys now that I'm back home. And I have to do a taste test because some of you great fans sent me some pork rinds. And I forgot to take them to the Red Brick House with me to do that taste test. But I will be doing that um, maybe later on today. But... We have some of you guys that have been tailgate members forever. And what you have as a tailgate member is you got, this is where we're trying to take care of you guys. As a tailgate member, you got originally a starter rack like this, and you got four shot glasses. So some of y'all have probably like seven, eight, nine different shot glasses because we try and get at least one different one every year. So... Here's our new one right here, Cowboys Mafia. So all the tailgate members, you'll be getting your Cowboys Mafia glasses. And also, we ran out of blue balls. We ran out of blue balls, footballs, and so we got something new here. Bam. Bam. Stress, stress stars with our Joe Boo logo on it. So um, if you become a channel member, you get a shot glass and you get a squeeze football too because <laughs> Cowboys make you drink. <laughs> Cowboys make you drink and they will definitely stress you out and this will help us all to get through the game. So no more blue balls we got stress stars for you guys. And um, 
I appreciate you guys. So tailgate members, um, if you are a channel member, understand we stopped using the Thrive site and we now have a new system. So um, if you go to the community tab, the link is for that. It's a most uh, post for members only. Um, the only way I can get you stuff is to have your address. YouTube doesn't give that to me. Go there, register on there, so that way we know who you are and you know what level that you are as well. And uh, we can start getting this stuff out to you guys. As always, you know I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And um, that's all I have right now. Peace.